I love it. Okay, um, the theme of the retreat is really deep into the new you, right? Um, I think all of you understand that change do take time for, and the time is different for dif- for different people, okay? I don't expect everyone to literally walk up here a different person, a completely different person. But I do think that everyone, now that you are here, you have at least begun your journey of becoming the new you, right? You have actually leapt into the process. By coming here and by walking out, you have begun that journey. We have talked a lot about all the factors of chaos and uh, how to deal with it and uh, the awareness is very important. Right? The awareness that this actually exists in us, these things that causes us unhappiness, which in turn causes other people to be unhappy, they are there. And if you can identify it, you can remove it. Right? Again, okay, um, Remote control is here, the OK button is here, the happy button is here. Take it back into your own hands. And the real at the end of the day, right? It's just it's just who you are and who you want to be. I, I've given your homework. There are not many questions you need to ask yourself. Right? Are you happy? Are you unhappy? Who am I and who I want to be? This is really what matters. And there is no judgment. I assure you there is no judgment. All of you here, whatever you went through here, whether you give me a tough time and I give you a tough time in return, you know, uh, that's just who I am. Right? That's just who I am. And uh, I also have a certain vision of who I want to be. Right? And um, I have my objectives and goals and what I would like to see all of you become. Um, if there are any ways which I may have offended, right, um, or even Cordelia, whether, you know, um, sometimes I give tough love, right, I'm, I'm a very practical man, okay, I'm a very practical, I'm a very grounded person, I, yeah. Sorry, I don't mean anything. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe the, this made anything but not me. <laughs> I, I really believe in this. I really believe in this. I, I went through my own tough, tough, tough situations and depression and I got out of it myself. You know, um, but I do agree that there are much suffering in this world and m- many more people suffer more than me, more than I did. And uh, when I look at you guys, you know, you know um, um, it also make me reflect on myself and... Uh, you know, I was very touched by Max because when I compare his depression to my depression, his depression he was giving, you know, the dog food. You know, I still remember when he shared uh, in in the retreat that he shared about his story, and then I was like, oh, I did, you know, when I was suffering, I was so selfish. And when he was suffering, he was oh, that was Max, right? So um, yeah, at the end of the day, who are you right now, and who do you want to be? I won't judge who are you right now, and you shouldn't judge who you are now too. Right? Just know who you are, and know who you want to be. It's just that simple. Right? And once you know who you want to be, you can drop the who you are right now and focus on do, 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 to who you want to be. It's, it sounds very simple. I'm just trying to simplify everything out. You know, without letting situations, without letting other people make life difficult for us. Okay, I don't believe in letting situations and other people make life difficult for me. I always believe in my own remote control. And I hope that all of you, you know, um, yeah, um, you know, you go back and you take your own remote, snatch back your own remote control. Don't give it to your mother, don't give it to your boyfriend. Don't throw it away. Alright, pick it back. Okay, thank you, everyone.